Today we're going to look at how you can make a backing track real fast in Studio One. vacation today but I managed to sneak away for a while just to play some guitar got my first ever guitar first one that I ever purchased here so let's just jump right into it we start off by creating a drum track and I'm using the basic kit because it's included with every version of Studio One even Prime Then I'll create a pattern at the second bar and insert pattern. And this is the backing track for the song Empty Rooms by Gary Moore, which is one of my favorite guitar solos. So I'm just going to put in some kick drum, some snares, and hi hats. It doesn't have to be really good, it just has to help you play the song. And I'll just duplicate it several bars. And then I'll go to Synth and find a warm pad. I'm thinking big pad. Okay, that's a little loud. Let's cut off some. That's better. Then I'll create a new pattern and just put in the notes for a D minor chord. No. Okay, that's D minor. And I want the chord to last the whole bar. So I'll go in here and find the sustain settings because I'm writing instead of playing with a sustain pedal and duplicate that pattern for as many bars as I did the drums okay how does that sound create a bass pattern as well and I'm using the fat fingers preset once again included with prime artist and professional let's insert another pattern there you go just about that just about does it and add some sustain to the bass guitar as well makes it sound more like a real bass guitar playing and then we'll just duplicate that let's hear
Okay, I think that's starting to sound like the Gary Moore track. Now, go into information, follow chords, set the, set the bass guitar to bass, and the pad, follow chords to parallel. This makes the synths follow whatever chord you put in the chord track. So now, you go to the chord track and you just put in a chord then you tell it which chord to play this song is in D minor so I'll put in a D minor and I'll duplicate it like that and then you just go from bar to bar and you change the chord to whatever chord you need there and then just change all the chords until it suits the song and every synth is going to change and play whatever chord you tell it to play in the chord track so you can just make one pattern and then duplicate that for as long as you need and just change the chord in the chord track and when you have lots of synths this is real time saver that's here. Another great thing is that you can slow down the tempo of the song. If you're practicing a hard part, struggling with learning a new part, just create a backing track, turn the tempo down to something that suits your playing level. It's a great way to learn new songs or new parts of solos that you're struggling with. And yeah, that's how you create a simple backing track with the chord track function. So now all that's left for me is to create a guitar track and record some guitar solos to this. Okay, thanks for watching.